All right, so this morning there's been a lot of talk going around about what the Lakers should do against the New Orleans Pelicans in their upcoming play-in game. Should they tank the game? Should they play the game straight up and just play Denver head on? And honestly, I've heard a lot of people, especially the talking heads this morning on ESPN and shows like that, basically saying that the Lakers should tank this game. And when I tell you that is the most loser mentality thing I've ever heard in my life, the amount of people on network television who get paid to talk about this stuff that said, hey, I think they should do this. Obviously not everybody was saying it, but a lot a lot of people said it, at least three that I can that I can think of off the top of my head. I don't know all the names. I think it might've been like Green, Mike Greenberg and uh, Alon something, Han something. Either way, anybody that thinks like that is an absolute loser. If you think that you should play with fire like that or play with the basketball gods as they say, and purposely lose a game just so you can avoid playing somebody who you realistically would have to go through anyway. You, you, you're, you've never played a competitive sport in your entire life, at least not to any type of competitive degree. You don't have a competitive bone in your body. And then on top of that, them doing that one would make them look like absolute cowards. Nobody would take them seriously. Even if they end up winning the next series or the series after that, they would get absolutely clowned. And it's LeBron, so it's gonna get magnified times 10 at that. So so that's one. In the eyes of everybody, you look like a, a absolute coward because they're gonna know what you're doing. It's obvious, we see what you're doing. We see. We saw the Cavaliers just sit there and tank a game against the Charlotte Hornets talking about, oh, we, we already came up with the plan to sit our starters. Either way, either way you slice that, you're a loser. What do you mean? You had the opportunity to get the two seed and you sat there and sat your two, your backcourt, your starting point guard and your starting uh, shooting guard. And then on top of that, you, you told yourself, we're not going to play our stars in the fourth quarter regardless of what happens. So if it was a close game, y'all were going to sit y'all starters. If it, if it was in reach, y'all were going to sit y'all starters. Y'all sound foolish. Who, who does not want to win? You were scared and you didn't want what was gonna possibly come with that two seed if you were to get it, which you weren't going to get it, but you had the chance. You were scared of what was gonna happen and you were gonna have to play either the Miami Heat or the Philadelphia 76ers and you knew your team couldn't match up well with them. So you took your chances at what? At the Orlando Magic, a young team who does not have a good offensive game and is still coming along, although they're great defensively. So that's one, the Lakers would have looked cowardly in the eyes of the rest of the NBA as a whole for the rest of the time LeBron was in the league. And then after that, you risk, you run the risk of missing the playoffs entirely because it's not like you're playing a, a cakewalk in the next round. If you lose, the Pelicans take the seventh seed and play Denver, and then you have to play the winner of the Golden State Warriors and the, the Sacramento Kings. The Sacramento Kings, which has a guy in Sabonis who your your best player should be best player anthony davis has never beat 0 and 10 all time now obviously this isn't the same team that he's been losing to but that type of track record is hard to dismiss especially in a winner go home game a one game elimination maybe in a seven game series i would say ad can overcome that but one game elimination that's in the back of your mind and this guy dominates you every time you should be worried about that and the Golden State Warriors who just absolutely smacked you, just absolutely smacked you and had the best shooter in the history of the game on their team, who if he gets hot or if Draymond randomly gets hot again or Clay gets hot, y'all are going home and not even getting four games in a series at all. And then lastly, and then lastly, I personally, and although I did hear Nick Wright say this, I said this before Nick Wright said it but i am gonna give him his credit and say he did say this and this is like what this is what he said basically but i think that if the lakers are going to end up playing denver which again if you want to get to the championship more than likely unless somebody else randomly knocks them off you're gonna have to play denver regardless so not, why not play denver before they've gotten into a rhythm in the series before possibly one of your players are hurt or injured or not up to not up to their best because the further the series goes along, the further the playoffs go along, the less likely you are to be at 100%. You're probably as healthy as you're going to get in a playoff series. Why not play the team that's gonna probably be there regardless right now? If you can't beat them now, you are never gonna be able to beat them in this, this playoffs at all, unless Jamal Murray or Aaron Gordon or somebody else got hurt on their team. But if you can't beat them now, you are never gonna beat them. So why not, play, not dislike, it's like the bully on the playground, why wait? Go fight them head up. You lose, you lose. 
if you win, you don't have anything else to worry about. You're good now because if they beat the Denver Nuggets by a shocker. Again, I'm not giving them, I'm not betting on them to actually win it. But if you were to be the Denver Nuggets, in my mind, you're officially the favorite. Now, I don't think everybody else would necessarily agree that it goes like that. But if you knock off Denver convincingly, everybody else is looking at you like, oh, snap, that's the team that beat Denver. We should probably be a little worried if they were able to take them out when none of us could do it all season long. Again, I don't agree with that. I don't I don't rock with anybody who is like, oh, we should lose. We should tank. They should tank. They should avoid the Denver Nuggets. Like, you sound scared. You sound absolutely scared. And I don't know any grown man in the NBA who would openly come out and say, yeah, we were trying to avoid them because we didn't want to play that team and we were scared. Get out of here with that. I, 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 don't, I don't rock with that at all. And I'm shocked that people really went on live television today and said that. Hopefully, they walk it back tomorrow. But let me let me know what you guys think. Is it a cowardly move? Is it a smart strategic move? Is it something that you would do if you were an NBA coach or in the NBA? Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Until next time, appreciate you for watching.